Jeez, sorry. Oh. So I'm starting with boiling the potatoes for the potato salad and then I will, um, I think make the cheese balls first. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna put in here the flour. As I already said, I'm gonna make half, half the portion. So we're gonna make 250 grams of flour. And now we need lukewarm water. How much was it? Fifty mil. Okay, and now I need to just mix the water with the flour and mix it till there's like no lumps anymore. Apparently. Okay, and in the meanwhile, wait, I'm just gonna mix this together. In the meanwhile, I need to warm up oil and milk and bring it to a boil. What did I say? A hundred. So I need half of that, so 50 oil, 100 milk, let's go. Okay, so now we need to mix this with our flour. There we go. So we have, a, we have our dough almost done. I'm just gonna set that to side here and cover it. And now, I'm just gonna wash my hand quick. And I think our potatoes are almost done. I'm gonna just see if you're not sure if your potatoes are cooked, just take a fork. And if you can pierce through the potato smooth, then they're done cooking. Yep, looking good. So I'm turning this off. I'm taking our strainer. Taking the potatoes off and letting them cool in here. Then I need an egg that we need to beat apparently according to the recipe. And now we incorporate the, the egg into the dough. Um, then we need our cheese. So we do half Parmesan and half, what is it, Gouda. So 125 grams. Okay, so we have all our cheese in there. And now we're gonna mix this all together and try to incorporate that in our dough. Okay, now the dough needs to rest for 60 minutes. In the meanwhile, I think we're gonna make our shredded chicken. So I'm gonna let our potatoes sit on the other thing. And I'm gonna bring in the same pot water to boil. And I'm just gonna cook in there three chicken breasts. Okay, so the water is boiling. Um, basically this chicken pot pie is gonna be filled with shredded chicken. So the way I do the shredded chicken, like you can either get like the, the finished one already from the supermarket or how I do it, uh, you can slow cook it, whatever you want, but what I do is I usually just boil the chicken breasts in water till they're like fully cooked through and then I just shred them. Those onions, man, every time, they get me every time. Every time I'm trying to be cool and act like I'm, they don't make me sad, but man, those onions always make me sad, so sad. <sighs> okay. So for the filling, onion, garlic, then we need to chop tomatoes. Olives. Guys, I usually don't like olives, but I'm giving olives a, ch a, a chance for this, okay? Meanwhile, we can cut the rest. So we have our olives, onion, garlic. Uh, what else do we need? Then we need some green beans and some corn. It's a little bit easier. We, you can shred the chicken either with two forks, but we tried it uh, last time and it was easier with the with the hands. And I'm just shredding the chicken. Okay, and now we're just gonna saute the onions in there. So 
So you're sauteing them till they are translucent. Now we're gonna add the tomatoes to our garlic and onion mix. And let them do the thing. So peace. Let's see. Now we add, oh, olives go in there as well. We add the shredded chicken in there now. The olives, so I'm gonna take like, not all of it, I'm gonna take some of the olives for the salad later. So some olives, what else it was? It was the corn, right? Olives, corn of using the peas we can put in. Peas. The corn. There we go. Hot of the palm tomato sauce. Hot sauce. Okay. Then we put in. Uh, where's our hot sauce? Hmm. Which hot sauce do we use? I have a lot of different hot sauces. Let's take the classic hot sauce from Hot Ones. I'm a big Hot Ones fan. So let's make it not too spicy and we're gonna take some tomato sauce and we're gonna add some salt <laughs> just choked on a little piece of her food but she spread it out straight again there we go mix the salt in as well two so one cup of chicken broth I'm gonna use one cup of water. <clears throat> and because I don't have fresh chicken broth, I'm just gonna take a soup cube. Or like half of one. Probably not a whole one. Half of one should be enough, I'm guessing. So that we have um, one tablespoon of flour dissolved in a third cup of milk. Okay, let's do this. Third cup of milk. And then it says lower the heat to medium low and cook stir often until most of the liquid is gone and the filling is creamy and lightly thickened about 10 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So meanwhile, this goes, we could take care of our potato salad. For the potato salad, I'm just gonna need to get out a bowl out of our dishwasher and wash this. Otherwise, we're not gonna have space. Um, let's see, so we got this in a separate bowl. Combined mayonnaise, lime juice, garlic, grated, chopped. Okay, give me one second. So for the salad, a lot of mayo i think i'm gonna stick with like 200 grams of mayo for now i feel like i don't have that much potatoes to put in there okay so so far we've in there um olives mayonnaise then lemon juice i'm gonna take like half a lemon and most of the liquid is gone now they say you should try it and season with salt and pepper as much as you need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. Also got some fresh parsley that they say to get to put in. So we put the parsley into our mix. And then it says after seasoning so we can put a little bit more salt and pepper in here as well how's everything going hope you come and visit us soon again salt and pepper and then we should just let it cool down before we put it into our form i'm just gonna Mix everything good together. So let's see, potato salad. Um, 
grated onion, uh, onion and garlic. I'm gonna actually do that <laughs> in my Thermomix because I am lazy. So we have our chopped uh, garlic. Now I'm gonna just boil my eggs in there as well. One second. So we need to hard boil eggs. Egg boiler. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And we also need to potatoes, salt, pepper, then a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. That is, I'm not, okay, my mom might, might hate me for this, but this is the best potato salad I ever had. Um, now we need to make the, the balls. We're taking care of the balls now. <clears throat> So there we go, we put those bad boys in. They say to leave a little bit of distance between them, which makes sense, right? So they don't uh, grow together. Now we need to make our crust. Um, it's fine. Making the crust. Combine flour and the salt in the large bowl. I'm gonna um, wash the large bowl so we can reuse this one. Mm -hmm. So for the crust, we need five cups of flour. Okay, let's see what is that in grams. Okay. Then we need to separate egg yolk and egg whites. Two of them. Then I need butter. How much butter was it? 170 grams of butter. Okay, let, me, let me go through this. So we need combined flour and the salt in a large bowl. Okay, where's the salt? There we go. Hello, everybody. Oh my god, those cheese balls smell so good now already. Holy shit. We put salt in there, add the yolks and stir using a wooden spoon. Okay, boss. This beautiful new wooden spoon that I got from my friend Sabrina. So we're gonna mix the salt into the flour first, add the yolks and stir using Uh, can I place explanation mark menu and you see what we what we are making Then add the butter and use your fingers to work the butter into the flour until the mixture resembles Sand then add the water and a few tablespoons By the time and continue working your fingers through the dough Might need all the, you might not need all the water. Okay. Okay, now we need to add between a fourth and a half a cup of water. Always just like one or two spoons at a time. Oh my God. Cut the egg. Pour the salad. Oh my God. Putting our paper in. If you don't know this trick yet, you're gonna learn today. You take this out, put the paper over it, close it. Perfectly covered and then you just cut around it. Now we set one, roughly one third aside it says. Now we need to roll it out. 
the Russian version. I see. Oh, I need to. I need some uh, flour, so we're not gonna stick. It's a good idea, I guess. Also on the on the cutting board. Gonna be the crust of our chicken pot pie, in case you're wondering. Now I'm just gonna try to get this obviously all around. There we go. Now we're gonna fill it. Now we put our filling in that we created earlier. Let's see. And even it. Do we put like something on top? Like, I mean, obviously the egg, but uh, make two cuts in the center, the top crust, and so the steam can escape while baking. Okay, okay, okay. So. Okay, so we make two cuts. So you just take one egg yolk, beat that, and then you cover it. How long do we bake this? 25 to 35 minutes. In the meanwhile, we can make nice pictures of the potato salad. This looks amazing. The potato salad is the best potato salad I ever had. Just putting it out there. I'm, I'm gonna stop my stream then. See you guys, bye!